Welcome to Who Died Today America, your daily source for honoring the lives and legacies of the notable personalities who've left us. Together, we'll pay our respects to these extraordinary individuals, diving into the significant contributions they've made in our world. If our content touches you, don't forget to hit like and share your thoughts in the comments. Your participation enriches this journey of remembrance and tribute. Lisa Montel, a versatile actress with a remarkable journey in Hollywood. Lisa Montel, an actress known for her roles in World Without End, 10,000 Bedrooms, She Gods of Shark Reef, and various TV westerns, has passed away at the age of 89 due to heart problems and sepsis. Born as Irina Ludmila Vladimirovna Augustinovich in Warsaw in 1933, Montel's family fled to the US before the Nazi invasion of Poland in 1939. A diverse talent, she portrayed characters of various ethnicities during her career, most notably in Roger Corman's films Naked Paradise and She Gods of Shark Reef. Montel's filmography also includes TV westerns such as The Gene Autry Show, Broken Arrow, Tales of Wells Fargo, and Have Gun, Will Travel. After leaving acting in the mid-1960s, she worked on a local TV show with Tom Bradley and served in his administration after he was elected LA mayor. Her legacy includes a range of characters, from a woman surviving in a post-atomic war Earth in World Without End to a ballet dancer in Gabby. Lisa Montel's impact on the industry endures, reflected in the rich diversity of roles she embraced. Tributes to Lisa Montel. Dum Dum, a powerful voice in Brazilian rap. Dum Dum, a significant member of the influential Brazilian rap group Facau Central, passed away at the age of 54 due to complications from a stroke on May 12, 2023. Born and raised in Sao Paulo's favelas, Dum Dum and fellow member Eduardo used the backdrop of their challenging upbringing, marked by social violence and criminality, to inspire their politically charged lyrics. Facau Central, formed in 1989, saw Dum Dum join its ranks as a performer. Their music, a raw portrayal of their lived experiences, resonated with many and contributed to their status as key figures in the Brazilian rap scene. Even their lyrical references to popular 80s, shows like Dogtanian and The Three Muskerhounds, served to highlight their unique blend of cultural commentary and personal narrative. Dum Dum's passing marks a significant loss for the Brazilian rap community, as his voice and his story have left an indelible mark on the genre. Tributes to Dum Dum. Ana Paula Borgo, a shining star in Brazilian volleyball. Ana Paula Borgo, former player of the Brazilian national volleyball team, has tragically passed away at the age of 29 after a courageous battle with stomach cancer. A distinguished talent on the court, Borgo's career was cut short when she discovered her illness in September the previous year. Borgo's mark on the world of volleyball is undeniable. She was an instrumental player for the Brazilian national team, contributing to their silver medal win in the 2019 League of Nations and helping secure their place in the Tokyo Games. In the youth leagues, Borgo's prowess shone as she aided in winning the Under-23 World Cup. Not only a stalwart for her national team, Borgo also represented several prestigious clubs like Praia Clube, Osasco, Pinheiros and Fluminense, extending her impact on the sport even abroad in countries like Turkey and Italy. Borgo's premature departure has left a void in the world of volleyball, but her influence and contributions will forever remain etched in its history. Her legacy is one of determination, skill, and passion for the sport she loved, serving as an inspiration for aspiring athletes worldwide. Tributes to Ana Paula Borgo. Stuart Slater, a pioneering force in British music. Stuart Slater, a multifaceted musician and music industry executive, has passed away in London at the age of 77. A pivotal figure in the British music scene from the 1960s onwards, Slater's contributions have left an indelible mark on the industry. 
Born in Liverpool, Slater's musical journey started at Liverpool Cathedral Choir and the legendary Cavern Club. He co-founded the Mojos, achieving a top 10 hit with Everything's Alright in 1964, which was later covered by David Bowie. After obtaining a BA Honours degree, Slater transitioned to the business side of music, holding significant roles at CBS, Bradley's Records, ATV Music, and Chrysalis Records and Publishing, where he helped launch the careers of several bands and gifted Simon Fuller his first job. Slater was also a successful songwriter, co-writing entries for the Eurovision Song Contest. His influence is carried forward by his family, many of whom work in the music industry. Slater's life is a testament to his passion for music, embodying an enduring legacy of creativity and industry leadership. Tributes to Stuart Slater. Menahem Pressler, an everlasting sonata in chamber music. Menahem Pressler, co-founder and enduring pianist of the revered Beaux-Arts trio, passed away in London at the age of 99. Born in Germany to a Jewish family, Pressler survived the horrors of Kristallnacht and sought refuge in Palestine, where he found his calling in music. His journey led him to the US, where he began a celebrated career as a soloist. In 1955, he co-founded the Beaux-Arts trio with violinist Daniel Guillet and cellist Bernard Greenhouse. The trio's interpretations of classical and contemporary compositions garnered them global admiration. Despite changes in the trio's lineup, Pressler remained a constant, steering the group for 53 years until its disbandment in 2008. Pressler's accomplishments were acknowledged with numerous Lifetime Achievement Awards and Germany's highest honor, the Order of Merit of the Federal Republic of Germany. His resilience, talent, and passion for chamber music solidify his legacy as a luminous figure in the world of classical music. Tributes to Menahem Pressler. Hodding Carter III, champion of civil rights and voice of a nation. Hodding Carter III, a significant figure in American journalism and government, passed away at the age of 88 due to complications from a series of strokes. Born into a family of journalists, Carter carried forward his father's legacy of advocating for racial moderation, making significant contributions to the civil rights movement. As the editor and publisher of the Greenville Delta Democrat Times, his editorials condemned the brutality of racial violence and supremacy, shaping public opinion during a pivotal time in American history. Beyond journalism, Carter's influence extended into politics and television. He played a key role in the 1976 presidential campaign, helping Jimmy Carter secure a narrow victory in Mississippi. As the Assistant Secretary of State for Public Affairs, he was the national face of the Carter administration during the Iranian hostage crisis providing the public with critical information during a time of national crisis. In his later years, Carter continued to contribute to journalism and public discourse, winning several Emmys for his television work and teaching at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. His lasting legacy is one of courage, commitment and the relentless pursuit of justice. Tributes to Hodding Carter III. Gerald Rose, a vivid imagination immortalized in children's literature. Gerald Rose, the illustrious children's book illustrator, has passed away at the age of 87. Born in Hong Kong, Rose was renowned for his spirited, playful and gently anarchic illustrations, which began capturing the hearts of young readers around the world in the 1960s. His collaboration with his wife, Elizabeth, birthed the acclaimed Old Winkle and the Seagulls, securing him the Kate Greenaway Medal, now the Carnegie Medal, at a remarkably young age. Rose's illustrations often reflected his love for the sea, his early life in Hong Kong, and a lifelong association with the coastal town of Lowestoft, Suffolk. A gifted educator, Rose led the BA illustration program at Maidstone College of Art, 
and his influence extended to the works of authors like Ted Hughes and James Joyce. Even in later years, he continued to bring joy and provoke thought with works like Ah, said Stork, and the Tiger Skin Rug. Rose's enduring legacy lies not only in the vibrant imaginative worlds he crafted, but also in the lasting impact he had on the field of children's literature, inspiring generations of readers and artists alike. His work will continue to spark creativity and a love for reading in children worldwide. Tributes to Gerald Rose Don Denkinger, a storied career and controversial legacy in Major League Baseball. Longtime MLB umpire Don Denkinger, recognized for his notable impact in the sport and his association with one of the most controversial calls in baseball history, has passed away at the age of 86. Denkinger served in the American League from 1969 to 1998, demonstrating dedication and endurance in a highly scrutinized profession. His career included four World Series and three All Star games showcasing his significant role in many of baseball's memorable moments. Born in Cedar Falls in 1936, Denkinger began umpiring in the Alabama-Florida League in 1960, eventually making his American League debut in 1969. Despite the controversy surrounding the call in Game 6 of the 1985 World Series, Denkinger's work was defined by more than this one moment. He was one of only seven umpires to have worked two perfect games, and officiated during Nolan Ryan's sixth no-hitter in 1990. Denkinger's legacy, while marked by controversy, also stands as a testament to the human element within the game of baseball. His contributions to the sport, spanning over nearly three decades, have left an indelible mark on Major League Baseball. He is survived by his wife and daughters. Tributes to Don Denkinger Sean Keane, a maestro of Irish melodies and traditional music. Sean Keane, a virtuoso fiddle player for the renowned Irish folk band The Chieftains, passed away at the age of 76 in Rathcool, Dublin. Born into a musical household in Drimna, Keane's life was steeped in music from an early age. Joining The Chieftains in 1968, after playing with Tiol Tuari Chualan and the Castle Taley Band, Keane was instrumental in catapulting traditional Irish music to a global stage. His subtle virtuosity and commitment to traditional sounds played a key role in the Chieftains winning six Grammy Awards and earning Lifetime Achievement Honours at the 2002 BBC Radio 2 Folk Awards. Keane also created a notable solo discography, recorded several collaborations, and was the subject of a 2022 documentary, Sean Keane, The Portrait of an Artist. His contributions to preserving and popularising Irish music made him a beloved figure and ensured his enduring legacy. Tributes to Sean Keane Owen Davidson, a pioneering force in tennis. Doubles Australian doubles legend Owen Davidson best known for his remarkable achievement of completing the mixed doubles Grand Slam in 1967, has passed away at the age of 79. Davidson was a formidable force on the doubles court, particularly when partnered with Billie Jean King in mixed doubles, where their synergy led to eight championship victories. Davidson's illustrious career encompassed 11 major mixed doubles titles, four each at Wimbledon and the US Championships, the highest tally by a male player at the All England Club. In 1967, he dominated the mixed doubles scene, teaming up with Leslie Turner and King to win the Australian, French, Wimbledon and US Championships respectively. Aside from his prowess in mixed doubles, Davo, as he was fondly known, was a two-time men's doubles champion and a consistent singles player, reaching the Australian Championship quarterfinals five times, the Wimbledon semi-finals in 1966 and the US Championships quarterfinals twice. 
His contributions to the sport were acknowledged with his induction into the International Tennis Hall of Fame in 2010 and the Australian Tennis Hall of Fame in 2011. Davidson's legacy in tennis doubles will continue to inspire future generations of players. Tributes to Owen Davidson Vida Blue, a legendary fastball and enduring legacy in baseball. Vida Blue, a powerhouse pitcher for the Oakland Athletics who led the team to three consecutive World Series championships in the 1970s, has passed away at the age of 73 from cancer in San Francisco. A remarkable talent from Mansfield, Louisiana, Blue made a name for himself in high school before being drafted by the Athletics. In 1971, during his first full season in the major leagues, he dominated the game leading the league in earned run average and shutouts. At the young age of 22, he was honoured with both the American League Cy Young and MVP awards. Blue's powerful fastball was a key factor in the Athletics' successful streak, from 1972 to 1974, making them one of MLB's most impressive modern dynasties. With over 2,000 strikeouts and 200 wins to his name, Blue's legendary performance continued with the San Francisco Giants and Kansas City Royals before retiring in 1986. Post-retirement, he contributed to sports commentary, promoted baseball in South America, and participated in various charities. Tributes to Vida Blue Jacqueline Zeman, a remarkable acting journey and an enduring legacy in soap opera. Jacqueline Zeman, best known for her more than 40-year stint as Barbara Bobby Spencer on the soap opera General Hospital, passed away at the age of 70 after a brief battle with cancer. Zeman began her soap opera journey on One Life to Live, but it was her role as Bobby Spencer, a nurse grappling with a challenging past, that solidified her status as a genre legend. Lauded for her captivating performances, Zaman received four Daytime Emmy Award nominations for her work on General Hospital. Beyond the soap opera world, she showed her acting prowess in TV shows such as Sledgehammer and Chicago Hope, and movies like Young Doctors in Love and National Lampoon's Class Reunion. She also starred as Sophia Madison on TV's The Bay, for which she received another Daytime Emmy nomination. Her character Bobby Spencer, who endured and thrived despite life's adversities, inspired fans to confront their own problems, offering a beacon of hope to many. Tributes to Jacqueline Zeman. Rita Lee, Brazil's Queen of Rock and a Trailblazing Legacy. Rita Lee, a trailblazing Brazilian musician known as the Queen of Rock, passed away at her home in Sao Paulo at the age of 75. She had been battling lung cancer since 2021. A key figure in the Tropicalia movement, Lee began her illustrious career as a member of the influential band Os Mutantes, before embarking on a successful solo journey. She sold a reported 55 million records over her career, which spanned more than five decades. Rita Lee's music resonated with global audiences earning her praise from legends like Kurt Cobain, David Byrne and Beck. The Queen of Rock defied convention and wasn't afraid to push boundaries. With a rock star attitude and a penchant for addressing sexuality from a woman's perspective, Lee became a feminist icon in her own right. Her 2001 album, 3001 Inches, won a Latin Grammy Award for Best Portuguese Language Rock or Alternative Album. As a vegan and animal rights activist, she continued to challenge societal norms, leaving behind an indelible and inspiring legacy. Tributes to Rita Lee Frank Kozik, a revolutionary force in graphic art and album covers. Frank Kozik, the renowned graphic artist known for his iconic album covers including The Offspring's Americana and Queens of the Stone Age's self-titled debut, 
has passed away unexpectedly at the age of 61. Born in Madrid, Spain in 1962, Kozik's journey from growing up under a fascist dictator to becoming a self-taught artist is a testament to his resilience. His career began with creating artwork for friends bands and designing concert posters, leading him to work with legendary bands like Pearl Jam, The White Stripes, The Beastie Boys, Green Day, Neil Young, and Nirvana. He also directed music videos, including Soundgarden's Pretty Noose. Kozik launched his own record label, Man's Ruin Records, releasing over 200 singles and albums by artists like Sex Pistols and Queens of the Stone Age, with Kozik designing most of the artwork. In the early 1990s, Kozik transitioned his creative focus to toys and collectibles, becoming the chief creative officer of Kid Robot, where he designed over 500 limited edition figures, including his iconic Labbit characters. His work, which has inspired a new generation of graphic artists and collectible toy designers, also saw collaborations with brands like Nike and Swatch. His creative legacy changed every industry he was part of and left an indelible mark on DIY art and culture. Kozik's life encompassed his love for his wife, his cats, classic muscle cars, mentoring others and Disneyland. His forceful presence and creative prowess will be deeply missed. Tributes to Frank Kozik Grace Bunbury, a pioneering force and unforgettable legacy in opera. Grace Bunbury, the barrier-shattering mezzo-soprano who transcended racial prejudices and vocal categorizations, has passed away at 86 in Vienna, as confirmed by the Metropolitan Opera in New York. Her death followed a stroke she had suffered in October. Born in St. Louis in 1937, Bunbury's journey was marked by resilience and immense talent. Her formidable presence on the opera stage was unmistakable breaking out internationally in 1960 when she sang Amneris in Verdi's Aida at the Paris Opera at the tender age of 23. A year later, she made history as the first black woman to perform at the Bayreuth Festival in Germany, defying racial and cultural stereotypes as she took on the role of Venus in Wagner's Tannhauser. Her performance resulted in a 30-minute applause, earning her the moniker The Black Venus and marking her as a significant figure in opera history. Bunbury not only shattered racial perceptions, but challenged vocal norms by seamlessly transitioning between mezzo-soprano and soprano roles, a testament to her wide-ranging vocal capabilities. She performed iconic roles in operas like Richard Strauss's Salome and Puccini's Tosca, leaving an indelible imprint on the opera world. Her legacy extends beyond her performances. She was a woman of courage who stood against discrimination and fought for her rightful place on the opera stage. Her unparalleled charisma and vocal prowess made her a beacon of inspiration for future generations of artists. Grace Bunbury's name will forever resonate in the opera halls and in the hearts of those who admired her talent and tenacity. Tributes to Grace Bunbury Thanks for watching Who Died Today America. If you enjoyed this tribute, please give it a thumbs up and share with friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more inspiring stories. Leave a comment below telling us who inspired you the most. See you in the next video.